Hey guys, so I don't have any fails, but I've got a few faves for the month of October. Hmm. Okay, so first off is my ColourPop Disney Designer Collection palette. This eyeshadow palette, I think it's limited edition. It is still available online as we speak, but this palette I have been drawing for almost every day since I've got it, especially by using this color here, Grumpy. It's like the perfect transition shade. This palette is like, I think it's just perfect natural neutral kind of palette like when you first look at it it's kind of like well what's so great about it there's nothing amazing about it it's just a natural palette with a couple of you know shimmer shades like this pink one this purple one here but is it anything to go crazy about it's not but i feel like this is just the perfect natural palette and i just cannot stop drawing for it almost every single day oh if you can still get your hands on one get it i most definitely definitely would advise that you get it <laughs> and also it's like the first time that I've ever tried Colourpop and I was so happy with the outcome just amazing next is my sugar pill pro palette now this I did get a few months ago but I had only purchased two shadows now this is a custom palette so when I first purchased it I got the palette itself and I bought this blue shade here and this pink shade here and then when beauty bay had one of their sales i then went and got the other four shades when i was swatching this i was finding that the swatches were just not there it just was not swatching really good it was patchy it was dry but as soon as i put it on my eyelids it was a completely different situation altogether and all of these shadows turn up bright bold just in your face so if you did want to get some really bright bold eyeshadows i would definitely recommend uh, sugar pill it's between sugar pill and juvia's like juvia's is always going to be like one of my number ones but i just found that i was really impressed with the way that the sugar pill eyeshadows performed because i was not expecting anything great considering the fact that they swatched absolutely terribly but we're not here to be too concerned about how they swatch especially when they perform so well on the eyelid the only thing that i would say about having bad swatching shadows is if you was to be purchasing them in store you would naturally swatch the sample eyeshadows that they would have out on display so if i was to ever have seen these and was to be playing with them in store, I would kind of be like, oh, I'm not gonna buy these because they swatch terribly. And normally you would think that if, if, if an eyeshadow was to swatch poorly, it's going to perform poorly on the eye. But this was the opposite way around. So it was kind of confusing to me, but I know that I think that they should probably have a look into why they, why they swatch the way that they do. Because if they were to sell these in the store, I don't know if they do sell these in the store, but if they were to sell them in the store, they're probably going to lose customers because they don't swatch very well. And I know a lot of people who, if they find that they don't swatch good, they're not gonna buy it. Like, kind of common sense. Uh. Now, one of the last things that I have, like this is a really, really short video, but one of the items that I have is not makeup related. It is actually jewelry and it is these, earrings here these like door knocker earrings that i got from new look i believe they're like five pounds from new look i don't wear them to work but i wear them on the weekends because i think that they're a little bit too much for for work where i work anyway i absolutely love these earrings i'm trying not to wear them too much because you know with costume jewelry it tends to like it's like the top layer can like rub off and then you have like another color underneath i'm just not fond of that i don't want it to react with my skin either but i think that these look so pretty on and i've been wearing them in like my some of my pictures that i've been posting on instagram etc etc i think what i might do is put a layer of clear nail varnish on the back so that it doesn't like rub against so when it rubs against my skin it doesn't rub off the top layer of the metal but yeah i'm trying to find and i want to buy probably another pair or two because these are just so pretty and i don't usually do jewelry i used to do jewelry a lot when i was in school but i stopped doing that i don't i just 
stopped being as fond of jewelry to be fair and now it's just like if i do wear jewelry it's normally because there's an occasion when i saw these i was like no i have to get them i have to have them so i will leave everything that i've purchased linked down below this is a very very short october faves but that's because i didn't buy a lot during this month and i didn't have any fails either so let me know what your faves and fails were and if you like this video give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.